How's it going, Ding Dongs? You've probably seen my Fanador mirrors that I created. Well, I didn't cre create the mirror, but I created the adapter. So this little adapter adapts these generic AliExpress Fanadors, I like to call them, to fit on an SC. They're kind of cool. They look pretty sick. They're JDM, bro. It's still just a mirror. And we've been using mirrors for like thousands of years. So I thought, why not update it a little bit and turn it into a camera? Let me show you how. So obviously the whole system is too far towards the card. This is max. See that? This is max right. I can go more towards the car. And uh, yeah. I think it's a little too wide. I think I'm going to get a uh, less wide lens. I also just realized I need to make the wires way, way longer because they need to go through the door, through the opening inside here, inside the hinge part, and then it goes through this, you know, yeah. So the wires need to be much longer because even if I open the door, I don't want that dangling in there. So I'm, I want it to go through the little opening here in the door. So yeah, that needs to change. So for a first try, I think this is turning out pretty great. Obviously some changes need to be made and obviously I need to mount the screens. So that's why you can see everything is pulled out. I'm redoing the whole dash. I have a new larger tablet and then the screens are gonna go right here on the sides. So one screen here, one screen here. So all of that will be in the next video. So make sure you subscribe, you don't miss that. I'm gonna go make the changes now to make this even better than it already is. But for a first try, I think it turned out pretty awesome. As you can see, the weather's getting pretty bad. It's been snowing for the last three days and then next week, it's gonna be a high of 15 the whole week, even lower some days. So I wanted to get this done and out for you guys. It's been a while since I uploaded a video. I wanted to beat the weather and get this out, test it out so that I can make the changes that I need. Leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Can't wait to hear all the comments about, oh, it's illegal, it's not allowed. You can't do that. The po police are gonna stop you. As with all my projects, I start with the design. So first of all, I designed everything around the camera. So you can see this is the camera housing, little mounting points, points for the pivot. This is where the 
motor goes, and then got a little hole for the zip tie to hold the wires. After that, I started designing the pivots. So I made little holders for the motors. So there's motor for the vertical axis, and then there's the motor for the side to side axis. So as you can see, everything had to be super tiny. Everything is contained with it itself. Everything's super small. I wanted it to be smaller than the Fanador mirrors. There's the bearing holders. So the bearing is going here, bearing is going here. So there's two bearings on each side. I didn't want anything to be wobbly. So I double bearings on everywhere, every single place I could put them. Try to make it as modular as possible so I didn't have to use any supports. The only spot that needs supports is these pivots right here. That's the only spot that needs supports. Everything else prints nice and flat on the bed. No supports needed anywhere. I hate cleaning up supports. I try to design absolutely everything to not require any supports. I already had my adapter designed, so I just took my adapter and I simplified it. I made it flat, so it's easy to print. So the prints on this face right here and just prints up. And then after that, I started designing the housing. First, I designed the bottom. I knew that this would be mounted on the bottom of it. That's what this is. There's a little cavity here, so I don't have to worry about alignment. It just holds it in place. Everything's nice and straight. And then I made a groove throughout the entire housing to nothing gets in. On the final product or the final design, there will, I'm gonna add a little bit of sealant here just to keep everything in. And then the top piece, you have designed standoffs to make sure that this actually clamshells nice and tight. Added a little lip for design purposes. You know, gotta make things look fancy. Cause this piece will be covered in carbon. I wanted it to be the biggest piece on the design because it's gonna have carbon on it. So I wanted it to, you know, stand out. If you follow me on TikTok, you'll see, you'll have seen that the edges of the frame are still showing a little bit. I gotta move this forward, move the camera as close to the lens as possible. And I'm also gonna be changing the lens on the camera to be a little longer so that it's not so wide angle. I don't need such a massive wide angle. So I'm gonna be putting in a sh slightly shorter, uh, longer lens. Super simple, that's why I make things modular without any supports needed so then if I ever need to change anything it's super easy I only need to change one piece I only need to reprint one piece because everything else stays the same that's why I made it so that this is super easy to print this tiny little thing if I need you know I'm gonna move the camera right now so move the camera forward that's it I just reprint that one piece cameras move forward I don't have to change anything on the housing and yeah that's how it uh how it works now that this is designed and all I need to do is make small changes to it I'm working on the next piece of the puzzle which is the dash and all of the screens and everything so like I said I'm gonna have two of these screens one on each side of the new tablet that I got so this is the new tablet as you can see it's much bigger than the old tablet so the dash is just gonna be so much bigger and I'll be able to have more data on it which will be sweet and I didn't want the dash to be smaller than the screens which those screens are almost bigger than that one that old tablet so i wanted to get a bigger tablet this was on sale 200 bucks can't beat it i love these android tablets to use as a dash it's literally like the best bang for your buck that's gonna wrap up this video ding dongs i got lots of cool new stuff coming after this it's gonna be the wide body i hope the weather starts getting warmer so that i can start more working on the wide body because that's gonna be huge that is gonna be the biggest project that i've done in a long time so I can't wait to get on, started on that. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos because this car is about to go through a massive transformation. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Peace out and stay sweet. America, America, America. Do you have your passport? Did you get your